Ugh. So something in music that happens, there's these, there's these. Oh man, sorry. Welcome back, there's episode this, two. <laughs> in music, there's these, these, this rhythm, triplet rhythm, right? The triplet, the dot, one, two, dot, three, dot, one, the, two, three. Dot, dot, dot. I don't know how and to go. For some reason, what? I don't know where I was going with that. Some, there's, and it's just like a common thing that I'll hear people try to play on like their two sixteenth notes and an eighth note. So like da 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 da, you know? Da 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 da. What did I do? Oh yeah yeah. Sorry, this guy's down. He go down. Dude, I love going down. Hit me up if you're. Um. Anyway. Probably someday I will release this video, because every time I. I play a game, it reminds me of this this video that I've wanted up or to, to write, but horse and bike mechanics in video games, I freaking hate them. They're too wide of turns. I think. hate them. But also the whole point is that horses in real life, they cannot do short turns. I hate them. In Red Dead at least, uh, Red Dead 2, I haven't played Red Dead 1, I know, right? But no, in Red Dead 2, there's uh, if you have a bond with your horse, you can like drift and stuff, and that makes it at least bearable. Um... And I don't like stamina gauges in games. Like I'm not trying to play games to feel like I'm my myself. You know, I'm trying to do things that I wouldn't be able to do in real life. And running for an infinite amount of time should be one of them, in my opinion. Yeah. That makes the Legend of Zelda, uh, Skyward Sword specifically, unbearable for me. The Skyward Sword have like a limit on that stuff. Yes. I've always wanted to play it just because I do like that it it uses it uses Wii Wii remote mechanics, right? Yeah. I kind of love that. I I love the idea of playing like that. Well, yeah, I and mean, it, it might not be a great game or whatever, but it could just be a kind of a fun. It's not game. as bad as everyone says it, but like I said, my, my biggest criticism is I don't like stamina gauges. Breath of the Wild is different because you can say, upgrade it. Yeah. And, and 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 I've upgraded mine to an absurd amount where it's like, oh yeah, I forgot he just shows up. That was awesome. <laughs> if I could jump that high, um. <laughs> I would. I would do it every, ever, every so often. That reminds me. You, you were talking about like you didn't like Fable Three or something because you, the jumping was. Yeah, a, it was. It was. It was just that like you couldn't stand still, hit X or A on 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 Xbox, and then you just jump. Like for some reason, I thought that was a deal breaker. Like I can't just jump when I want to jump, even though there are plenty of games where you have to approach something, and it's like the, it's more like an interact button. It's not just like a jump button, and I thought that was weird, even though it makes sense. All right. So, trick to this guy is he's got obviously you see the glowing things on his feet. Yeah. Heck yeah, dude. Oh, this dude's wobbling. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Oh, he okay. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, right foot. Every right time. foot. Right foot. Yeah. You can't move while aiming. God dang. All right. This time. Oh, you're gonna get this so hard, bro. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. He's like, he tilts it. I mean, yeah, they're trying not to get hit, too. Yes! <laughs> Ow! -wee. Whoa, whoa! I dude, got hurt! Dude, step on his mushroom stomach. His mushroom stomach. Oh. Gotta go on his stomach, bro. Are you right? Are you sure? I thought I gotta get to the furry part. Oh, well, if you wanna go that route, I guess. Look at Noah Mon, he's like, alright. He's none the wise. <laughs> he's like, he waited for me to get on, and then he just says, like, alright. You're the equivalent of, like, one of these colossi, uh, like, a tick. Oh, you know. I'm give this brother. I'm gonna not very. Fell a Lyme disease. I'm not very empathetic or anything. And in fact, like, it's very hard for You're me to. You're just pathetic. That's, right, exactly. That's kind of it's very hard for me to, to, like, put myself in the place of a protagonist. But when I play this game, I always try to imagine myself, like, if I were a Colossus and this tiny thing was just destroying me, I'd be pretty embarrassed. Like, <laughs> oh, gee, my, my black like, soul goose. Come on, I could have stepped on him and he'd die. And, and it's like the first guy, he could have reached and just plucked you off. How many swords and slices of this size do you think you could take before you perished? If I was that big of an animal? Yeah. Oh god, I imagine these are like a little more intense than a bee sting. Probably. It's I probably imagine like them. Bit by a snake or something. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I could probably take a good amount. Like, I, I don't exactly know how like the pain would like this guy translate. By the way, this guy is significantly easier than the other one that I just did. Yeah, you just get on and just keep, keep like poking. Like I said, the moment you figure out his his trick, he's easy. I think this game is so incredible because like, you're walking on a character, but the character is also an environment. So like when you have to walk through like these columns and like doorways on top of them. That's why I think this, this game it, is so critically acclaimed because it's is it it it's is its so own creative. Thing. I know there's I I there's not many spin-offs 
honestly, of this. Isn't there one? There's a Castlevania game, I know, that literally pretty much blatantly steals the first Colossus as one of their bosses. <laughs> but that's about it. That's all I can think of. Um, if there is other spin-offs, like... I think there's one official... Copycats. Let me look it up. I think there's one official spin-off that was, like, from the developers or something. Oh, maybe. Shadow of the... Where he plays the Colossus. Colossus PS4. We get to play as aggro. So... Oh, come on. That didn't do it, apparently. I gotta hit him one more time. Come on. If this is gonna knock me off... Look at this, bro. Look how much health he's got left. I know you're on your phone and everything, but he's got... <laughs> I'm doing a res... Yeah, get him! There, I got him. Now I'm gonna get swallowed by the shadows again. Oh, wait. The game Eco or Ico. Um... The... Okay. Oh, are you talking about the Last the, Guardian? The Ico and Shadow of the Colossus collection. Oh, is that it? game, yeah. Cursed by being born with horns on his head, locked away, Shadow of the Colossus is considered a spiritual sequel to Ico, and later stated by its creator, Fumito Ido, That's right. to be a prequel set in the same world as Ico. That's so right. it was at first, it was at first a sequel, spiritual sequel, but then it's considered, retroactively, it was considered a prequel. Making sense really. Yeah, I think The Last Guardian is somehow involved in this. Mm, okay. Too, which, oh wait, the last, isn't that that weird dog bird yeah, thing? Yeah, where you go like, dog, come here. Dog he bird! just doesn't listen. Mm. I feel like they just put an unfinished AI on there to make the game harder. And they're like, that'd be funny. I have no... Man, you... What? No. I don't want to make any promises in this episode, because it's not a promise at all. But I kind of... I want to play Spider-Man PlayStation 4. But that's not going to happen. Nah. We'll see. Well, It's going to be irrelevant. If Jory, if Jory ends that's up getting different. a PS5... There's... He's considering it, not not strongly. He's not talking about my personal life. I'm gonna I'm gonna start talking about Jory as if he's not here. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Jory said he would be more likely to get a PlayStation Five if it can be backwards compatible. More likely, I'm getting a PS Five. Unfortunately, it's my oh. only option. But if it's backwards compatible, then that's gonna be terrific. I kind of hope it does. There's a lot of stuff going on around now about I Xbox that, and Xbox Series S. I remember hearing speed. that as a rumor, and I don't know. I obviously. feel like it should. I. I guess I'm just... But also, I'm getting, like, entitled, because, like, a lot of... Co like, consoles have done it before, and I think that just, at this point, just let people play... It's so their necessary. Old games. I mean, like... Because also, like, what if people can't afford to have both of them and they need to sell their old one? Exactly. If they have physical games or even digital games that they could transfer over, that would... It's just nice, because it also, like, makes your... It makes, it makes your customers buy... The new version that you want them to buy, it's going to be ex more expensive than it should be. Everyone knows this, including people selling it. Um, and they're going to be less likely to buy it if they if they can only play new games and then all your old games, like, you have to have your old console. So they're going to be like, well, I can play all the games I know I like on my old console. Why do I need a new one? I'm not a game guy, uh, as in... I mean, I, yes, I play you're, games. You're not like... I'm not the creator, so I don't understand the complications involved, but in all honesty... There seems to be no reason why a system that uses a disc yeah, as a medium can't, can't use be other compatible. Yeah, so I, I don't get it. <laughs> I feel like they might need, like they're gonna need different like drivers, or I don't know what it'd be considered. It's not gonna be they're that gonna difficult different, to do. Like, and they're all already making the the, comp the the parts to these consoles like so beefy and so like impressive. I feel like just making them backwards compatible just only seems like logical. The thing I like about this game is that it's like... <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> the thing I like about this game is that there's not much else to do mm -hmm. other than the, the main goal. Yeah. I mean, you can do anything you want. You, you can, can just wander, though. You can't you really... Can look at all these ruins, this desolate wasteland, this no life. So what? We've, we've beaten two colossi. Col colossi already, yeah. Man. Uh, I'm going to probably get to the third... In, in this episode, and then... Let's see, well, let's see if we can... Let's see if it's even... Uh, yeah, I, don't, I, I don't remember which one's the next. There's like a Scott... I, I don't want to keep... So bring it. Fall eyes on the swims. I hate this. Okay. Game. I wasn't going to say anything in case... The game's old, dude. <laughs> I know. But as someone... When I... I mean, this is also years ago. But when I watched um, a YouTube channel uh, play this game before, I was like, wow, this game's incredible. Even though it came out... The game came out like 12 years before I watched that video. Um... So there's still people out there that don't know about certain games. But also, if we are people's first Let's Players are watching, 
Um, so I'm gonna say like, who's who's really watching us right now? It's like, dude, there's three there's gonna be some eight year old <laughs> who just starts watching us, and we're like cussing, so he, he feels naughty for watching us, and he's like, ooh, I'm gonna watch them, and yeah. then he's and then in like ten years, he's gonna be like an adult, and then he's gonna be like, yeah, I knew them when, and that kind of crap. Oh yeah, that's assuming we could talk. Speaking of um, uh, callbacks and like mechanics. paying attention to things. Uh, we just want to say hi to our uh, our friend. Oh, I didn't want to say his name, but <laughs> just hi, <laughs> <laughs> Jared Bear. If you're watching this, please censor his name. Sorry, <laughs> Jared Bear. If you're watching this, text me. Text me. You don't like monkeys. Yeah, because that's something no one. Would this ever is just very personal, like a little little <laughs> message we're sending out because we want to see if uh, one of Jory's friends, one of my friends, one of our friends. Is watching our series like he says he is. He said, yeah. Oh, good. Good, good I think etiquette. this is the, the worst glass that's coming up. So. Is he a swimmy one? He's somehow involved in water one way or another. He just drinks a lot. He's very hydrated. How's this working? Um, this, it's, this is... You do swim, right? This is so long. Yeah, obviously, bro. There was, how is there a point where games, like 3D games, wouldn't let you swim? Like Vice City. Because no. Make, it's hard to... Vice City wouldn't let you swim? No, you would go in the water, you would die. It's bullcrap. Yeah, I, I mean, I get it. If I were to make a game, I would... Just turn just turn the model horizontal, and then make him tap a button to move. I, I, if I were to make a game, I wouldn't make water involved in any way. Of course you would I just don't jewelry. like water. Water anything sucks. My least favorite, and I've probably said this a few times, I bet. I don't like deserts. Yeah, you said... <laughs> they yep. suck. Sand mechanics, desert, anything, I don't like them. I think, I think that's an unpopular opinion. Yeah. I think a lot of people really like deserts, but I Deserts can... Them. Like, well, those kind of things are cool, not necessarily because of, like, um, the mechanics of them. They're cool because of the possibilities. Like, in Mario games, there's, like, the, the, the spiky... The spiky guys. Pokies. Pokies. They have spikes. <laughs> um, they The pokey guys, because they're in the desert, and it's kind of like... It's just a completely different terrain and environment. So there can be different enemies. There can be different ways of playing and stuff. Because most people, um, aside from like the Middle East, like Africa, like not some good parts of Africa, careful, even Asia. Careful what you're about to say. I'm, okay. <laughs> I'm just saying like a lot of people, like they, they're used to more temperate, more grassy areas anyway. This guy's actually kind of fun. I, I changed my mind. What is it? Is he a spider? Yeah, he's a spider. Is he actually? I was going to say, I don't... Oh, wait, is he just... Is dude just tanning? He's, uh, he's more of a... Uh, the guy with the Rick. big old... He, I think he's, he's... This is the guy that's got the big old, like, log thing. This is the guy. Okay, never mind. This is the one that, uh... That... When I think it's a Shadow of the Colossus, I think it's this guy. And I think this is the one Castlevania stole. Is this Anthony? <laughs> Alright, next time. Bye!